Yeah, so I trust science. Sure. Logic. <laughs> you know, that's great. But I think scientists are a bunch of charlatans. Liars. They're priests of a, um, a new religion. Probably not even a new religion. It's an anti-religion religion. Science. People go, oh, he's got a, a degree in astrophysics. Oh, the word physics. That's exciting. Is it? Is it? Or is it because you don't know what the word physics means? Physics. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did some experiments on physics in outer space. Oh, but they do. The International Space Station. <laughs> no, they don't. That's not even real. There's no International Space Station flying around in outer space. That's a, sh that's a con. Come on, you guys. But let's say there was. Let's say there, they had a spaceship that was floating in zero gravity, which is also not true. Um, what are they doing up there? Whenever they have like a video from the International Space Station, it's just some idiots, obviously on harnesses or in a plane that's descending, you know, green screen stuff. I mean, I know about that because I have a green screen. I didn't really teleport out here. Ha, huh, not a bushu. That's right, baby. You're just on a green screen. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just, you know, we're just trying to make this fun. <laughs> but, okay, so that's so fake. But that gets on YouTube. Nobody, oh, that's, that's misinformation that <laughs> we went to the moon. Yeah, that's misinformation, not what I'm talking about. So there's that. I'm anti-science. I don't trust them. Oh, what else? I'm anti-history. I don't believe in the... Christopher Columbus was going to prove that the Earth was round and sailed and accidentally found America. I don't believe that. I don't believe that there was nothing here in 1492 except naked savage Indians, you know, frolicking around like it's the Garden of Eden. I don't believe we built all the old cathedrals and colleges in America. I think they were here already. There's no way that people in horse and buggy in 1492 or 1792, you know, whatever year, built just any of the old the oldest buildings in your town look at them those enormous the churches the courthouse even and the college you know Bemidji's got a college and in the 1930s they called it the Bemidji State Teachers College and you could go there and get a teacher certification in less than four years. My grandma did it. She went from boarding school, started teaching, because in those days, then moved back to the, you know, wherever she was, Boy River. She just started teaching at 19 years old because she had graduated from high school. You could be a teacher after that in those days. But then, because she was, you know, amazing. She went, you know, I better get some teaching certification, even though I already have a job teaching on the reservation. So she put herself in college. Well, Bemidji State College, they say it was built in like 1890. The oldest buildings in our town are in the early 1900s. They say late 1800s, because before that, it was just all of us shanabs, right? It was just Indian people living in wigwams. Yeah, the best buildings we built were built out of birch bark, is what they tell us. They don't want us remembering the mound builder builders thousands of years ago. Or who even knows? 
I know there are what they call Indian mounds. And they look like pyramids that have been grown over with grass and dirt. And when they've dug down into the Indian mounds, they find giant bones. Giants! 10, 13, 15 feet tall. And then uh, the scientists take the bones away to the um, Smithsonian Institute. And we never see them again, and they never talk about it. And everybody gets all excited. Oh, there's an American Indian Museum at the Smithsonian. If you're an Indian artist, you could put your art in the Smithsonian. They go, yeah, okay. What do you want? Some beaded earrings? You want a little, a birch bark pencil cup? Is that what you think Indian art is? So they, they've covered up the true history. There's a lot of videos on that they let us see. That all these buildings were found. The founding fathers. Yeah, they found this country. Fully built. And the people were gone for some reason. I mean, there were some Indians, I guess. Who knows? But apparently there were buildings everywhere. Cities. Flying machines. There's a whole history that we haven't been taught. And then something happened, like a flood, that killed off everybody. And then there was a reset. And people came back. And that's us. You ever wonder why so many of us, if you look back in your family tree, it gets real sketchy around the late 1800s. I know it does in my family. And there's always one orphan in there. You go, oh, yeah, my great-great-grandfather, well, he was an orphan. And then he came here on the orphan train and with nothing but blah, 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 and our family was started. Or Ellis Island. How about that story? Oh, all the people from Europe immigrated to this the new world and then built cathedrals and railways, trains, and everything, that you, you know. But they didn't invent the, tel the photographs, so we don't have any evidence. It's all, all a bunch of crap. But again, if you point that out, instead of people looking at the textbooks and going, hey, that's, you're probably right. This can't be true. They look at you and go, oh, what are you, a history denier? That's hate speech. That's misinformation. Dangerous misinformation.